Oh, GB1, I told you this would happen. I said I wanted to be one day before the Titanic hit the iceberg, but no, you gotta put us 20 minutes beforehand. Everyone's sleeping. I can't take anything of value here. Everyone's keeping their jewelry close. And the only thing I'm able to find so far is this pom-pom hat. And quite frankly, I have two questions, GB1. Number one, how did you screw this up so bad? And two, where is this fluffy pom-pom from? I mean, quite frankly, look at this pom-pom. It's way too new and out of date. It shouldn't be on the Titanic. <laughs> Okay, I guess you're right, the pom-pom hat is irrelevant, but quite frankly, GB1, we still need to be able to find the TARDIS, and I, I don't know the way around the Titanic. Good point. We do have that Metal Earth model we could build, and maybe we can figure out how to get around the Titanic and maybe get back to the TARDIS and out of here. Hey everyone, and welcome to Group Builders, the show where we create together. I'm your host, Disorderly Cone, and that forgetful little robot over there is GB1. You did it to yourself, and now me. We need to be able to get ourselves back to our TARDIS, and unfortunately, we can't find it. So now we're going to be able to build ourselves the Metal Earth Titanic, and hopefully look at that to figure out uh, where we left our TARDIS. Groovers, let's get down to the uh, somewhere here and take a look at our package. Hmm, okay, looks like this wooden crate will have to do. And you know what? It almost looks big enough for both Rose and Jack. Go figure. Have it. Both of our pages needed to build the Titanic. Now, if you have a package like mine, your instructions will be yellow. Don't worry, everything is exactly the same. Looking at these instructions, there doesn't really seem to be a whole lot here that we need to be worried about. But that doesn't mean that some parts aren't tricky. The first thing we're going to take a look at is how to form our boat shape and how to connect that upper detail. Next, we'll take a look at shaping the iconic four smokestacks of the Titanic and how to connect and shape everything correctly. Finally, we'll talk about the masts and how to correctly connect them and close up a Titanic. Like I said, nothing too crazy, but we should still touch on the basics for all those new builders out there. First things first, these metal models require us to cut out our pieces, then shape them using whatever we can. Once we have our parts correctly shaped, we can connect them together by bending or twisting our tabs. The way we bend or twist our tabs is indicated in the instructions here by these circles and triangles. Personally, I always try to follow the instructions the first time when it comes to bending our tabs if I can. Then when the build is complete, I'll go over everything again and change anything that might stand out. That's how you get that museum quality you hear so much about. Uh, GB1, looking at these instructions, I'm not sure we're going to have enough time to build this before this thing sinks. I'm not even sure what tools we're going to need. Well. That's actually a great idea. Timothy's on the TARDIS. He can not only tell us the tools, but he could possibly get us out of here. Okay, fine. The Titanic from Metal Earth has all kinds of unique shapes for us to be able to build. And for those shapes to be able to be formed correctly, we're going to need some tools. What tools we're going to need? Well, let's ask our tool expert. Timothy? The Titanic is a classic model from Metal Earth, and for some, this might be the first build. If you're attempting to build this icon, you will need nippers, tweezers, cylinder tools, and a spoon. Great job, Timothy. And, uh, wait a second, a spoon? Oh, never mind. Uh, can you do me a favor, though, and try to find us? Uh, we kind of lost the TARDIS. Do you have my berries I asked for? Huh, yes, uh, well, funny story about that. You see, I was looking around and uh, got a little hungry. Well, I can't find the control room. Hey, Timothy, wait! Oh. As always, these are just our suggestions, and you really don't need anything but nippers and tweezers to get the job done. But of course, having the right tools will always make your job a lot easier. All right, now we've looked at our instructions and we also have our tools. There's only one thing left to do and that's for you to press that red subscribe button down below. We're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers here on the channel and we really could use your help. Also, if you've had a good time here so far too, go ahead and press that thumbs up. That's how we grow here on the show. Okay, a little awkward. Oh, thank you so much for your help. We have all kinds of really cool projects coming up on the show, and you're not going to be disappointed. Now, let's get down to the uh, wooden crate here and begin our build. 
The Titanic from Metal Earth is often seen as the perfect build for beginners, right up there with the Millennium Falcon, R2-D2, and the Space Shuttles. We have almost all the basic shapings in this build, like the cylinders at the top, the boxes along the deck, and the curved forms at the bow and stern. Forming these details for the first time can be a little bit tricky. Let's take a look at some tips and tricks on how to get everything just right the first time. Let's look at getting the boat shape and attaching that deck detail. Starting with part one and two, the first thing we need to do is give some definition to these pieces. By taking a tool like a spoon and lightly pressing it into the front and back of these pieces, you will start to get a nice little shaping. We can use part three and four for references to see how much of a bend we really need to have. After getting the shape we need, it's time to attach the parts together. Now, our instructions here tell us to bend the tabs at the front. In the end, this looks great, but while attaching all of our parts, they tend to fall out a lot at the front, so to avoid that, we're gonna go ahead and twist these tabs for now. Just don't forget to go back at the end of the build and untwist them and put them back in the right place. Now, attaching the deck details can be a bit of a headache because there's so many different windows and it's kind of a tight spot. These windows can catch our tabs very easily and if we're not careful, we'll accidentally secure our tab to a window and not to the insertion hole. To avoid this, I would recommend securing one side at a time. When placing the other side, don't be afraid to pull the pieces apart just a little bit. If you want to for right now, you can just secure the front tabs of the Titanic for the majority of the build. And when you're ready to close the whole ship up, you can close the back ones at the end. This method will allow you to have more access to the back, making it easier for you to get access to those tabs. The second thing we should take a look at is forming the iconic smokestacks. These parts of the ship are shaped very interestingly, and at first glance, you might think they're just straight cylinders. But looking a little bit closer, you'll notice there's a little U-shape at the bottom of these pieces. That little bit of a U-shape is the bottom of the piece, and you need to keep that in mind as we shape and connect our pieces together. Let's shape our stacks. Grabbing our shaping tool, we start big and work our way down to the proper size. The reason why we do this is so that we get a nice cylinder shape. If we try to rush this part, we might accidentally turn our cylinder into a nice teardrop, which will take away from the model in the end. It's very important to make sure that when you're using a shaping tool to apply even pressure all the way around the piece, again, to avoid that teardrop shaping. This method should also be repeated for part 10. Let's go ahead and put all this together now. Anytime we need to put details like this together, I always recommend slightly bending one of our tabs inward on one of the pieces. This allows us to be able to put one of our tabs straight in, and by slightly bending it back, the other tab should fall right into the insertion slot. This makes attaching our parts way easier, especially in tight places like this. Make sure that when we're attaching these two pieces that we're putting the tabs in the inner holes and bending them towards the center. This will keep them out of the way of part 12. Now, remember earlier about that little U-shape? Well, like I said, it's very important to make sure that that part is on the bottom. When it comes time to attach our stacks onto our different pieces, it's very important to remember that all of our stacks need to lean the same way. If you put it all together and you see one going the wrong way, it will be a big pain in the butt to take everything apart and correct it. So as you're putting it together, make sure that all of your parts lean to the right. This will ensure that all of your stacks are going the right way. This was one of the first builds I did when I got into Metal Earth, and I have to say this was one of the mistakes I made. So don't be me. Double check your stacks before connecting everything together. Finally, let's take a look at the mass before closing this whole thing up. The mass of a Titanic are made of five different parts. Parts 28, 29, and 30 need to be placed on the ship in a certain order. I recommend securing both of parts 29 to the ship first, then add part 28 and 30 on top. Doing it this way will prevent any kind of warping of the mast, and a lot less fumbling for you. Speaking of fumbling, stringing part 30 between the two masts is pretty easy to do, especially if we pre-bin the tabs before we put them into the insertion holes. But I would recommend waiting to attach part 30 until the very end. When I built this model originally, I followed the instructions here, and it led to the part 30 being really warped. I'm not saying it's impossible to add this part on and continue on with the build without warping it. However, by waiting to add this part into the very end, you really are saving yourself a lot of headache. And talking about making things easier on yourself, let's look at closing this ship up. 
Remember earlier how we bent both sides of part one and two? Well, that should make getting the whole back here secure much easier for us. But also, free bending these tabs here is the key to getting the end closed securely. If we follow these two things, you should have no problem closing this ship up. And look at that! Our Metal Earth Titanic! And there we have it, the Metal Earth Titanic! Yes, this is a classic build, and I'm very happy to come back and revisit it, as this was actually one of my first builds way long ago. Now, is this build for beginners? Absolutely. It has all kinds of really interesting detail for us to be able to build, and none of it's really that complicated. Now, with some of the newer models that are coming out, I won't be surprised if Metal Earth down the road re-releases this build with a good paint job. I mean, especially maybe in like the Iconics or now the Premium Series models, maybe something a little bit bigger with a lot more kind of uh, printed texture would look really cool. But again, this model still stands out and looks really awesome when complete. All right, Groovers, that brings to the end of our show. I had a really good time building the Titanic with you, and if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well. We've got all kinds of really cool builds coming out in the future. Want to build your own Titanic? Well, check out GrooveBuilders.ca. We have all kinds of really cool builds on there at great prices with fast shipping to the United States and Canada. All right, now uh, I got to figure out uh, where exactly I parked the TARDIS here. Until next time. Keep building. Maybe it was on the Lido deck? <laughs>